So basically, well, first, thank you guys for joining and, and watching this video. I hope it's uh, helpful for uh, all of you who are watching, and I hope that in general, overall, it really brings some light to campuses and it just helps new users, uh, maybe even seasoned users uh, in the industry because, well, we're in a growing industry and we all want to help each other out. So to get you guys caught up, this is going to be a, a, a series of a couple videos, a few videos um, on creating a busking show file on Magic Q in Kansas, uh from scratch. So go ahead and follow along to, to get you caught up. Basically what I have here in the visualizer is um, upstage, midstage, and downstage. As you see, I didn't go ahead and toss in the trussing. Um, you can if you'd like, that, that's all up to you. Um, but basically I just have them in position. So what I have here, I, I went ahead and patched in 24 Mythos 2, 24 Midi Bs, and 12 Aurora Profile HPs. With the, the Mythos, let me go ahead and show them to you. Here they are. I basically have 12 and 12, and the same thing, just opposite sides. I'll go ahead and toss, toss these in blue, um, just so you guys can see the difference. And, and we've got our midi bees. Okay, awesome. And then obviously our Aurora profiles are there on the downstage truss. Great, so let's get started from scratch. And this is, um, this is what I do by, by any means. It's not the, the best way, it's not the worst way, it's my way. It's what, what I like to do. You guys find, find your niche and hopefully you, the, you, you guys can utilize some of the stuff that I do. Um, so what I'll do first, I'll select on my setup I'm going to go through all these tabs and, and just double, double check them, make, make sure that they're all to my liking, um, which in Hogwarp 2, pretty much everything is, is how, how, how I like it, really. Um, I'll just change a few little things um, here and there and move forward. Scroll bars, yep, I like them that way. I want my layout buttons. What this does right here is really interesting. It's really cool because it gives us the ability to have uh, let's see, what is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 different layout buttons right up top. So I, I do like to have that. Great, everything else is good. Q storage. Um, yep, everything. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do the, the group cues because it's kind of standard to, to what, I'm, what I'm liking right now. Um, and I'll, I'll go ahead and make another video touching base on, on group cues as far as what I know um, from it, which I think it's fantastic. So stick around and, and check check out that, that video once once we get, get around to it. Next is the playback. Since we are creating a busking show file, I'm going to change this and make it a global rate master. My button, I want it to be a, a tap to, to time on the selected. Um, and that is everything for the moment. So first things first, my, my layout one is going to have my, my palettes. And I like to create all my palettes first uh, before anything else. So I'm going to go to view heads. I'm going to, for, for this, I'm going ahead and basically just selecting the upstage and the midstage. Record this upstage spots either they're more of a hybrid but but still one two three four five six seven eight nine ten but eleven twelve well there we go okay confirm yep there they are mid stage spots i'm going to do the same exact thing with my midi bees one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve great let's see yep there we go Upstage wash. Toss that right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Confirm. There they are. Great. Mid stage wash. And you can get you can get creative with with, with the way you wanted groups. Um, I'm gonna also make an all. Let's see, I'm gonna name this all. And toss that right there. I'm not going to include my downstage because the downstage I really like to have just set completely separate from, from everything. Um, but say on, on this all group, 
Um, you can go ahead and make it symmetrical and th this, that, and the other. It's all up to you. In this case, I'm not going to just for the tutorial purposes so, so we don't take up too much time. So I got my groups here uh, made. So I'm going to go ahead and select my all and my roll of profiles. Um, and I'm going to start making... Wait one second. Let me go ahead and move this. My apologies. I'm going to move it just to move it again. Move it right there. Then I'm going to move it one, two, three spots over. And I'll, and I'll explain that right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select my groups, all my fixtures, every single one. I'm going to hit locate. I'm going to record first my color, just color. I'm going to toss that in right there. I probably should have labeled it first. Let's go ahead and label it C1. Yes. I'm going to go to view palette right here, unlink. Then I'm going to copy and paste right here. I'm going to label this, call it C2. Awesome. Now I'm going to record just position P1. Toss that right there, view palette, unlink. Record just my beam. I'm going to name that B1. Toss that in the first slot, view palette, unlink. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my intensity tab. And this is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for my palettes. There we go. And, oh, interesting. Okay. Well, jumping, jump the gun there. But I'm going to hit record. Just intensity. I won a million dollars. That would be cool. So view palette, unlink. Awesome. So back to palettes. I'm gonna go ahead and change change the the way that this is. Uh, I'm I'm on the PC version uh, right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix fix this just just for this purpose. I'm gonna toss my color right here. Let's do our our position right underneath that. I'm gonna do my beam right underneath that and my intensity palette right there. Record toss that boom, great. So next thing I'm going to do is start tossing in all of my different layout layout views right here. I'm going to hit execute, page one, yes. I'm going to select 10 by 2, and we'll go over why I'm doing that in just a minute. So executor, one, toss that right there. I'm going to make two more, but the next two are going to be 14 wide by 8 tall. Record x2 right there the next one is going to be the same 14 wide by 8 tall and these two my executors number two and number three I like doing 14 wide by 8 tall just to start um, if I need more I'll add more if I need less I'll go ahead and take some of them off um, for space but that's just kind of kind of where I like to start so execute three it's gonna be right there the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this, make this guy. Well, let's let's go ahead and get rid of these first, just so they're not running in the background. There we go. I'm gonna label this G C because I like I like to have them a little bit big because well you never know what well you do know right, but some sometimes you you walk into different venues and. Bigger rigs, smaller rigs, you know. So GP, oh, GP, toss that next. Get rid of it. Beam. I want to make sure that it's go always going to be there. G, B, right there. And lastly, I'm going to do my intensity. With my intensity, um, I'm going to go ahead and do my effects on the bottom, just for space. So there's you know, utilize all the space you can. You want to be smart, don't want to waste it all. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and do uh, uh, heads. I want one with just all my heads. Heads. Great. And then what you can do with the rest, you can uh, toss your Q stack in one. Uh, maybe your media and another if you if you're running some some video content, uh, your timeline if you'd like you know if you, if you got some some time coding going on. In this case, 
we got none of that. So I'm going to leave it open just in case I want to add something um, in there. So right here, we're at a great starting point for our um, show file. I hope you guys stuck around this little bit. Um, check out the next video. The next video, we're going to get in, into um, creating some soft palettes for um, our different um, attributes. So stick around. Hopefully, you guys can follow along, and, and let's learn together. Thanks.